Welcome back to another our episode of the Ottoman Empire, where we were conquesting and we're trying not to become the sick men of Europe. Where I believe we've almost accomplished that. I mean, we've drastically increased our like output by a lot. Where you know, basically the big bullies around the world. Like, let's be real here. We're the bullies. Everyone else is obeying us. <laughs> So, but anyways, last episode we had a really tough call, which was that we had to end our alliance with our good friends, Spain. Now, it wasn't because of any, like, particular interest. It was mostly because, like, um, if I was to join that war, I would not become the war leader, okay? And if we're going to win this war against Spain, let's gain them into our sphere. If we're going to win the war against Spain, I'm going to need these guys in you know, in my sphere of influence. Like, if I'm gonna win this, I'm gonna need them in my sphere of influence. So, you know, I just had to end it with them. It was really sad. Really, really sad. I mean, I was kind of tearing. I was almost tearing up last episode, people, that we had to do it, but now we have to move on to the next conquest, which the prospect of proclaims. They are coming for us! Which is basically, what that means, people, is that we are going to be going after our good friends, the, uh, Portuguese who have borders right next to our good friends the British so shouldn't be that difficult to get everyone to join in because I still have even though I've conquered a lot of land I still have low infamy so let's go do this it's gonna be slightly harder now that we don't have the uh, Spanish in on us but I believe it should I believe with the combined efforts of everyone we should be able to still yeah with all these guys and their powerful armies I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to blitzkrieg the, the Spanish so the Spanish should be able to let them in, and so once the Spanish let them in, we're just going to be able to kill Portugal. Uh, mostly my men over here, what they're mainly useful, they're useful are, is they're going to go conquer Manchu. They're not really here to go fight anything, in fact, as you guys have always seen, I may be the biggest, one of the biggest nations in the world, but I seriously stink at tactics. Like, my people are just like, what are tactics? We don't know, I think they're things that we eat, so... I'm, this is my. I'm talking about my own people, P. I'm not trying to make a stereotype of Ottoman Empire people or anything like that. So please, no one take offense to that. I'm just saying, for my general empire range, we generally stink at all this. <laughs> okay, and I'm watching. Okay, so they did send some men. Looks like we're already blockading. Uh, hopefully, the British will go send some men down there eventually. I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure they're going to send some men down here because I'm pretty sure they're not going to let this fly. Uh, but we're going to go send our men on their long and arduous journey all the way over here to Singapore then from Singapore we're gonna go send it all the way up to Manchu or Mako Manchu or is it Mako? I think it's Mako I mean I, it doesn't sound right to me in my head but I think that's how you pronounce it and look at that over there look at that I love that I love how we just conquered Sweden that looks so nice right over there I, I wanna admit that looks so nice uh... looks like that's also happening Kind of feel bad, uh, but as I said, there wasn't really much I could do about it. I mean, literally, wasn't really much I could do about it. You guys, yeah, you guys won't accept it unless I, like, seriously get lucky and get some good stuff happening. You guys, Colombia's been freed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so, yeah, we just have to wait. Okay, there we go. We have one good, gigantic, dramatic army down there. It's probably going to squash all of these, uh, you know, forces. We're just casually, we should probably actually build some experimental railroads and actually build up our industry. That way we can actually support all the things that we actually have because we just keep expanding. We have literally one of the biggest, you know, armies, well not armies, one of the biggest like potentials in the world. Look at that, look at those French men move in, dang. Alright, there we go, and that should be the battle that decides this entire fate. So this, we should be able to conquer all of Portugal here soon. So that means we probably should start working on where we want to conquer next. Probably not here because they already got alliance. Probably not here because they already got sphered. Probably not here because they already got sphered. Oh my goodness. And that French-Russian alliance, man. It is hurting me how bad that is. That is. Like, seriously, that's like... Ugh. Okay. So let's see. Where could we go next? Well, if we want to be like kind of meanies, we could actually go after our good friends of the Netherlands. I mean, they basically have nothing, and the British would easily be able to defeat them, and 
Or we could go after Spain. Hmm. Spain. Hmm. Yeah, let's, when the war ends, I think that's the next nation we're going to go after. We're going to go after Spain, that way we get a good Iberian, like, you know, double whammy over here, I guess. And that way when the, when the, because they're not, I don't think they're ever going to give us an alliance back. The only way I'm going to not kill them yet is that they let us get our alliance back. If they let us get our alliance back, then I will totally add them back into our spheres and we'll all have happy go lightly days. Anjvok, you guys keep your weapons factory because I need weapons. Also, Moldavia, you guys keep your weapons factory because I need weapons. Yes, I need weapons. Oh my goodness, France, you guys are jerks. Okay, so France definitely took a lot of land and just generally be jerks around. Uh, Spain, you guys definitely should form an alliance with me. If you guys aren't going to form an alliance with me, you guys are dead. I'm just saying that now, okay? If you guys don't form an alliance with me, you guys are going to die. I mean, it's not a matter of... Of if you guys are gonna die, it's just a matter of when. Okay, now that these guys are landed over here, I'm gonna get you guys back on the boats. We're gonna go send you all the way right here. That way we have this conquered, and that we have our first little contact into China. I mean, of course, this is a previous. This is using the previous conquerors, the previous people that conquered China. But still, this is still our China. A little bit into China. Okay, and let's see though. Let's see, the British still have access over here, so that's good. Uh, but are they really letting... I think they might be letting them siege down all the land, which I don't really like. France is somehow really happy with me. I don't get that, but they are. Hmm. That Russian alliance, though. I can't get past it. Like, it's literally right there, and I can't get past it. Okay. Like, it's... I don't believe we're ever going to be able to declare war until that's broken. Until that Russian-French alliance is broken, we're not going to be able to declare war. Hey, are there any, like, crises evolving that does not involve my land? Like, are the Russians going to get declared war? Because we're wondering, is the Russians going to get declared war? We could easily fight that. Okay, we also could probably fight America now. The British have absolutely no troops over here, and... You know, this actually sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, they, oh yeah, the British stole Alaska from... <laughs> oh yeah, they stole Alaska from the great and mighty empire of Russia. Oh gosh, that's kind of hilarious. Okay, let's go back to this. Keep building up our basic industry that way, because we have lots of land. So our capitalists, yeah, <laughs> our capitalists are going to be need to be kept busy, like insanely busy. Let's see, you guys are going to finish up all that. Britain's now coming in to come finish up this war. Okay, let's see. Well, I need to, I probably need to go down there. I hate to admit, but I'm probably going to need to go down there. Let's go conquer this little place right here. There we go. Let's go right in here. Go siege up this place. Go right here. Go get on the boats. Now go take all these guys back over here to our land. And then from here, what I'll probably go do is attack Portuguese Africa. Apparently, because I have to go attack Africa. Oy, that's kind of annoying, actually. I have to go attack Africa and go liberate more states. Man, this. let's see. So the French just like completely took care of everything over here, like they moved in quick. Hey Belgium, would you guys like to join my fold? No. Let's see, who are the great powers right now? Denmark is a great power. Well you guys are still allied with uh, my good friends the uh, German Empire, so I can't use you guys yet. But... I don't think we would have enough. I really do want to attack more, but we just would not have enough. Like, I don't believe we would have enough to face against these guys. Which is kind of infuriating, but we just would not. Um, uh, 22. The only way I'm going to... You guys want to come back in? No. Since these guys don't want to come back in, I'm just going to have to declare war on Spain. And the first thing we get is Swedish Nationalist. Um, yeah, I had really no contingency plan to deal with all these guys up here. Uh, shoot. Okay, hey, Denmark, would you like military access? No. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the Swedish might actually beat us up here. Because there's literally no way, wait, I have lots of, why do I have so many troops right up here? Okay, I don't really care. Why I have so many troops up there doesn't really matter. 
But I have, I think, just a decent sized army. I could actually combine all these guys and make a decent sized army and actually protect Sweden from themselves. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Okay, got nine soldiers. Let's go start crushing through all this madness, I should say. Ooh, yes. Okay, yeah. We're, we're, we're one of the biggest armies over here. Okay, now combine all you guys. Get all you guys grouped up. Yeah, because we don't, we don't want to have big, gigantic rebellions just yet. Okay, all you guys are grouped up. Got some cannons, too. Ooh, this is good. This is definitely a decent-sized army. There we go. Get you guys. And let's see. Yes. Okay, now we got a decent-sized army. Go destroy it. Okay, no. Go right here. Go right here. Go right here. And then just circle back. Okay, we def we just saved Sweden, everyone. Even though it didn't need saving, but we just saved Sweden. I feel very proud of that. Okay. Yeah, we need somebody to attack, and it looks like the Spanish are the most likely candidates. <sighs> well, to be honest, they're like the only candidates we can attack right now. And I don't want the Spanish to be... F I don't want the French to be friends with them. Because if they become friends with them, we basically have no one we can attack. And the spheres of influence... And this balance of power BS is going to keep us from doing anything for a very, very long time. Okay, so we better get this done very quickly. And it looks like it looks like the British are being moved in on there. We're destroying the the Portuguese, of course. Oh yeah, we have all the land seeds up. Okay, now we just need. Man, I thought the British were going to go send actual men over here, but apparently they didn't. So maybe I will have to actually go do this. Let's go do this. Go get over here. Go send men over here. And I think they only have one army over here, so Portuguese should be pretty easy to destroy. Um, and also the Spanish should be easy to destroy because they just went through a war with the uh, British. And plus we also have men literally right there on the border. Like, look at that. Right men, bear, ready, that, ready to bear the arms of war. The only problem is, is that we won't have a peace, we won't have a peace time. So it might, it might inflict some things. Let's see, get this down, there we go. Let's see, we have two armies right here. We're sending our other army down over here because apparently for some reason the British are not guarding their own land. Which is kind of annoying me. There we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, beat him, beat him. There's only two men, 2,000, there we go. Thank goodness. Alright, move in, move in, go, 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 go. Move in, destroy them, yes. Okay, we have absolutely no carrying power over here. So what we're going to go do is try to go pick up some more men. Because this is going to be our colonies too. So we're going to have to protect these. Now let's go see if we can go get more land. Uh, in terms of what we need, uh, we don't have 30%. But this should be really quick conquest. Because we have literally everything. But we don't have 33%. We really don't have 33% of the, the territory yet? Gosh. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to have to work really hard on that. And right now, we can easily go conquer Spain if we want to, so that's good. But we need to... Okay, good. The British are kind of moving in and taking out some of these other colonies. Good. They need to go take over this colony, actually, right there. And let's see. We're just kind of casually reconquesting all the land that the uh, British lost. Let's go right here. Let's go do that. And let's see. We have 1.2 million in the banks. Oh my goodness, we got rich overnight, and I didn't even realize it. Let's just not tariff anything, because literally tariffs... Because considering how much we have, we really don't need tariffs. Excellent! Okay, we really don't need them. Let's see, we got an army up there, we got an army down there. We're starting to build up our strength, which is good. But we need to destroy... There's got to be a way we can destroy this. I wish there was a war that, they, that the Russians would declare that they could not enter in on. Hmm... Alright, well, we just have to destroy Spain, another, like, neutral power in this. I think that's what we're going to have to do, is just destroy Spain. Man, do I want to conquer this thing, too, but I know this is actually pretty weak land. And this would actually just hold up a lot of troops, because this land is very hard to conquer down there. But still, it'd be nice. Factory output is now definitely greater. That also increased how much we actually make. And I literally have everything right now in my land, so... Because I have both good oil, I have production, I have iron, I have everything. I have basically the equivalent of two empires, three empires combined. And Swedish nationalists, of course, again, risen up. But we have enough of an army to actually defend ourselves. Didn't actually believe I'd ever have to defend Sweden, but 
Uh, everyone's shocked eventually in their lives. Alright, the Russian Empire. Humiliate Carlos Bella. It's... Uh, I'd love to take that. I would really love to take that. But the problem is... Is that we can't fight Russia until they have less alliances. Or if we were to fight Russia, we would have to do it on one of their little tiny guys. And then, you know, add a sphere again. But as we just did that last time, it didn't exactly work. I'm not going to say it was a complete failure, but it didn't exactly work. Okay. We have our... Our troops down here. Finally, some Germans! Oh, thank goodness. Germany has finally moved in. They finally have men. Now they finally have men. Oh, good. Is that 77%? No, still not 77%. But we do have... We do have a lot more land down here. Conquered up. Which is good. Now we just need to finish off a lot of these places. So I really don't... I really don't care. Oh my goodness, my infamy is literally bad. I have literally bad, you know, juju. Okay, let's go right here, start conquesting. Since we're basically nearing the end of this war, I'll start doing the conquest, Carlos Belli. I'm pretty sure no one's going to end the war while I'm still, or not become my friend, I should say, until the end of the war, which is good. Let's just do this. Let's get all the stuff we need. 18, 18, 18. Still not high enough for anyone to, like, do anything too bad, which is good. Because I don't want to get... They're coming for us! No, I do want to get that. But I mean, it's not big enough to a point where somebody like the Russians were going to go in and contain me yet. I'm getting to that point, but not yet. Okay, let's get to there. Let's go right here, go right there. The British are now over here too, so that means we have three big gigantic armies moving in and conquering the rest of Portuguese Africa. As soon as they have the intermediate period, I'm going to free someone. Probably going to free an African colony, now that I think about it. Like, one of these African colonies will probably be freed, and then what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, basically free one of these African colonies, that way I have my infamy go down, and then just go declare war on the Spanish nationalists. Of course, we have lots of different revol revolutionary groups in my entire empire. I mean, who said my empire was peaceful? They were lying. Okay, let's go around here. They're coming for us! Yes, and they're obviously, I'm going to be ready by the time they're all done. We got more we got more money because we got so much land because we have so much industry. I mean, we really have everything in the industry right now. We have we are seventh in industry. More people, more Swedish. While wow, the Swedish definitely want to be freed. Uh, probably need to create more people up here. Because the Swedish are definitely want to be freed. I will give it to Swedish. They are fighting like really good. Wait, let's just see. Where can I recruit some men? Recruitment right here. Build like one soldier. By the way, for over here, this is going to be the group up point. For anything, this is going to be the group up point for over here. And yeah. I have a lot more soldiers I can now build in the Austrian Hungarian land. Oh my goodness. Our empire is becoming big. Okay, I got the allow annexation button. We just need to finish up this war up here and then we're basically done. There we go. Okay, now we finish up this war. What we need to do is quickly go right here, go to politics. Let's see, who can we free? Is there any, like, one nation miners that we can free? Ah! Oh, everyone knows this nation. <laughs> okay, so we're going to free that nation. And before this army leaves, Spain, bye-bye. So let's see. Calling all my allies. Everyone's very willing. Even Netherlands. The Netherlands are willing to betray them. Oh! Dang it. It seems like... The North Germanic Federation somehow juked me and decided not to join my friends list. So, what does that mean? I have no idea. That could mean we are in big doo-doo. Which probably means I need to find other friends. So, what that does also mean is I probably need to dislodge my friendship with the UK for a little bit. And then go declare war again on them. But, for right now, this is really scary. We could be potentially facing a war where I have to actually fight, but at the same time, we actually have a military to go fight them. Like, I mean, this isn't probably the best army that we could ever, ever ah, create, but this is a pretty good army. And we could probably go fight them pretty hardcore. We also have some transportation right here, so let's see, get everyone on the boats, go over here. Yeah, let's let's try to fight our first war. Let's try to fight the, the Spanish on our first world war. Yeah, 
I like this. I like this. This is gonna be counted as the first time we as people fought in our first war. But I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.